Hey everyone, got something special for you today. Uh, the PS Forever project just hit a really important milestone. We are now able to go through the login server, character creation screen, and we're able to log into the world and walk around. We're not able to do anything special in the world like pull vehicles or get weapons or even open doors, but we're able to walk around and just see what the environment's like. So um, I'm going to show you the game logging in and doing everything I just said. And then I'll also show you in this uh, window down here uh, the server output, so you can see what my um, emulator server is, is doing and how it's reacting to the game as it plays. So let's go ahead and start the game. And let's start the server. So the server is written in uh, this language called Scala. And Scala is special because it essentially uh, gives you the power of the Java virtual environment, but it's in pretty much an entirely different language. And there's this cool library that uh, runs in Scala. It's called Akka. And it allows you to do very cool things like being able to spin up these things called actors. And uh, long story short, actors are great because you can spin up, you know, millions of them, and you can assign tasks to them, and they'll, you know, happily do them, and you never have to worry about trying to figure out how to get things to do work. And it just makes things a lot easier. So things are nice. But here we are. Uh, here's the game, and we're currently on the skip launcher, uh, skip launcher view. At the moment, um, I have the client set up to connect to my server. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in, you know, some random username and password. At the moment, I'm not handling it. I'm just accepting all usernames and passwords. And hit enter, and you can see on the left, on the bottom, uh, we have some connection requests. And you can see we have our custom server here, uh, with the custom name, PS Forever, and um, a few other details. But this alone, just getting to this point, was difficult because there's a lot going on behind the scenes involving cryptography that... I had to figure out and re-implement. But yeah, here's step two, uh, logging into the character creation screen. Now the character creation screen is uh, mostly done. I mean, things are mostly stubbed out, meaning, you know, I can delete this character and you think it's deleted, but in fact it just, you know, once it's, once you do this delete action, it says the server do something like a delete. And the server just ends up not returning any characters. So if I had two characters and I hit delete, I would have gotten zero back as well. It, the bottom line is it's not 100%. But um, I'm able to do this and, you know, go through these steps and hit finish without things hanging. Because if I didn't handle it correctly, it would. But backing out, going back in, I get my character. And this character is just like some stock character that I happen to have created when the game is still running. And I am essentially taking the character data and just sending it as this blob to the client. I don't really understand what the data is at this point, but I know that if I send it to the client, it will create this, this avatar with this name, and that's good enough for me right now. So the thing I just accomplished today is I was able to go from character creation screen into the game. So let's see it. So the game loads like normal, and we're going to go to TRX Sync, which is kind of weird because we're VS. But, oh, and here we go. We're now falling from some position that happened to be where this character was uh, when the normal game was playing, so the live version. And you can see I'm underwater, but I don't have a you know an oxygen message. That's because the server doesn't handle that. But I can you know hold my weapon. I can change fire modes, but I can't fire because, well, the client says I'm underwater, and now... I'm going to know fire error because I'm in the sanctuary. Um, you can see on the left, um, or at the bottom, the server output, we're getting a lot of errors, such as uh, object held message, avatar first time event message, generic collision message. These are all messages that are not handled at the moment by the server. So we've essentially handled the most minimal amount of messages possible to get to this point. Because this is significant. We can relive this game, listen to the music, walk around, and kind of 
be a part of it, even though it's it's gone. So at the moment, if another person were to log on, I wouldn't see them fall from the sky because players are not synced with each other. And that's, you know, a big, big deal. Uh, there's a lot of work that would need to go into the server to get us there. So at the moment, this is this is what we have. But hey, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. This is pretty much, you know, day one of our real first experience back in the game. So a lot of work to be done, but a lot of good challenges ahead and a lot of fun to be had. Um, one thing for I end this, um, notice there um, on the banner that is there's no empire. Uh, that's because I'm skipping a lot of messages that were normally supposed to be sent to the client. I'm not sending them from the server because, well, I don't understand what they are. And I just want the most minimal amount of messages to get here, which ends up being not so many, but sifting through all the nastiness to get here was a lot of work. And what's pretty cool is because I never accepted or sent any state messages, the world is completely unpopulated. The lattice is completely dead, and every base is neutral. Pretty cool, but hey, the fact that the game works at all, and you know we can actually walk around is amazing. Um, we can't, you know, interact with anything. Um, that's okay. I mean, we will handle these things when the time comes. For instance, if I look at this, you'll see Avatar first time event message comes up. We don't handle that. I hit G. And use item message is not handled. So there's a lot of things that need to be handled before we get to uh, be able to actually do some more dynamic stuff. But hey, we're back. Awesome. Well, 